world. I wanted to show girls growing up like I did that they are capable of so much more than what our culture throws at them, those crumbs. And I was still conscious, though, and I was still cautious about being transparent about a facet of my identity that was so stigmatized and de delegitimized. I thought to myself at the time, I thought to myself at 22, why would anyone want to attach themselves publicly to a group of people who are told that they're confused, who are told that they're an abomination, who are legally mandated not to use public restrooms or serve in the military, who in more than 30 states in the United States can still be legally fired and denied housing for being themselves, who like the hundreds of trans women of color around the globe are killed annually, are being hunted down to this day for just being themselves. I felt and I learned and I believed that I was less than. I felt that my voice maybe wasn't worth hearing because I saw no one like me doing the work that I'm able to do now. Um, and eventually, I came to a point where I realized that how people saw me had nothing to do with me, how people saw my community had nothing to do with me. It had to do with them and their limitations and basicness. Ultimately, I yearned to champion our freedom to define and declare who we are without rebuttal, without debate. Trans women are women, trans men are men, and trans people are exactly who they say they are. Now you can talk about.